Now starting with the white color, we're going to do a magic circle. So you're just going to take the yarn and drape it across your four fingers and use your thumb to stabilize. And wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your crochet hook and just go under those two loops. Bring up a loop. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. And then take your forefinger and your thumb and just hold it at the base of the six single crochet. Then you have the two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, you're going to let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that. And then take your loose yarn end and pull on that. Now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12, and then come back. I'm going to do the first one with you. So two single crochet into that first stitch and two single crochet into every stitch around until you've completed a total of 12. Now we're just going to close the center of the magic circle. You just turn your work over and take that loose yarn in and pull on it until the center closes. And now we're going to do our increase rounds. So go ahead and get your yarn marker. And I'm just going to again use my scrap piece of yarn. Now for the increase rounds, I'm going to do the first one with you. Just go into the next stitch and you're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. One, two. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then just like we did for the body and the head, you're going to keep doing increase rounds. So in the second round, you're going to do one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And you're going to do increase rounds all the way up until you do one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet in the fifth stitch and then come back. I just finished my last increase round of one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. Now just take your yarn marker up and you can see on your work, let me just show you an, uh, stitch up close. So here, one of your crochet stitches, you can see that there's a back loop and there's a front loop. And we're going to work right down the center of the stitch into the back loop only. Let me see if I can get that a little bit closer for you. So here is your back loop and then here is your front loop and we're going to go right down the center with our crochet hook and we're going to grab the back loop only. So take your yarn marker and place it right where you left off. Now for the next 14 stitches you're going to work into the back loop only. So you go right down the center of the stitch into the back loop only. You're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. So for the next 14 stitches, you're going to work into the back loop only and do one single crochet into each of the back loops for 14 stitches and then come back. 